welcome to our second lesson on linear motion. The question starts, or the question reads, Amatatu left Meru for Nairobi at 8 a.m. traveling at an average speed of 80 kilometers per hour. At 8.30 a.m., a motorist in a saloon car left Meru for Nairobi driving at an average speed of 120 kilometers per hour. The distance between Nairobi and Meru is 600 kilometers. Full stop. Find how far from Meru when the motorist overtook the Matatu. Now, we agreed that after reading the, all that question, all that information, we illustrate all, we simplify the information with a diagram here. Just a straight line representing the road and the distance between uh, the two towns. So the first town to be mentioned is Meru. And at the other end we have Nairobi. And then the one the people that left Meru for Nairobi is Matatu. Meru for Nairobi. That is Matatu. At, an, at 8 a.m. The departure time was 8 a.m. At a speed of 80 kilometers per hour. And then a motorist, uh, the other ages, a motorist in a saloon car left Meru for Nairobi. The same, same direction. Left Meru for Nairobi. So we have a motorist here. At 8.30 a.m., that is the departure time, at a speed of 120 kilometers per hour. They are traveling in the same direction. And the distance between the two towns is 600 kilometers. The first question my viewer reads asking, how far from Meru the motorist overtook the Matatu? Now, the question of how far, that implies it is simply distance. So we are calculating the distance from Meru that the motorist overtook the Matatu. Now, Matatu in this case left earlier than the motorist. It left earlier by 8.30 a.m. subtract 8 a.m. that is 30 minutes equivalent to half an hour. So distance traveled before the motorist stopped the journey. That's what we are going to calculate. And that will be the relative distance or the gap or the distance between the two. We shall be referring it to as relative distance. So distance is equal to speed times time. Is equal to distance of the motorist of the matatu. Sorry, distance of the matatu is eight, eight kilometers per hour multiplied by time, which we have seen is half an hour. So by an hour by hour, you are left with kilometer by two, one by two, 40 kilometer. So the distance that Mot Matatu covered before motorists started the journey was a distance of 40 kilometer. Now, this, is, this implies that Matatu is here, somewhere here. We can put a point that in, and imply Matatu is somewhere here now after half an hour my viewer, when the motorist is starting the journey and the distance between the two is 40 kilometers. The distance being 40 kilometers, now this we shall be referring it to as relative distance. This is equal to 40 kilometers or the distance between the two vehicles and then the speed because we uh, relative distance and then we, should, we can first of all calculate uh, the distance that uh, when the, it will be cutting up. Therefore, the distance between the two, the speed is of a relative speed in same direction. Note this one carefully, my viewer. Relative speed in same direction. What we do is that we do subtract. And therefore, in this case, speed or relative speed will be the 80 km per hour subtract from 120 km per hour. and it will be 40 kilometers per hour. 
we have the speed and we have the distance. Therefore, we first calculate the time taken for the two vehicles to meet. Therefore, time taken for the two vehicles to meet is equal to distance over speed. Distance, it is 40 kilometers. So, distance being 40 kilometers. And then the speed, which we have said, it is 40 kilometers per hour. By kilometer by kilometer, you are left with time. So time is equal to 40 divided by 40, it is equal to 1. So it took 1 hour, my viewer, it took 1 hour for the motorist to cut up with the matatu. Now this is the uh, speed that the motorist used to cover this distance of 40 kilometer. Now, so we are coming, we have the we are coming to calculate the distance is equal to speed times time is equal to now then the, at, at how far from Meru when the motorist overtook the Matatu. So the motorist traveled for one hour and that one hour that we, we will be that it covered was speed is equal to of the motorist was speed was 120 kilometers per hour. Multiplied by time, it took one hour for them to for the motorist to overtake the matatu. By hour, by hour, you are left with the kilometer. So 120 times one is equal to 120 kilometer. The time twice and write their answer. So it implies that for the motorist in this duration of one hour, it traveled for 120 kilometer from Meru in order to cut up with the matatu. Probably it was at somewhere here at a distance of 120 kilometer, my viewer. Now they, that's where they are together. Now, how far from the uh, from Meru the motorist overtook the matatu? It is 120 kilometers. We proceed to the next question. The time that the motorist overtook the matatu. The time that motorist overtook the matatu. We had we already had time. It took one hour to overtake the mat the, the motorist. To most of the motorist to overtake the matatu. Therefore, the time that started to count, it is a time that the latest time, which was eight. 30 a.m. So therefore what we do, it is 8.30 a.m. We add the one hour. So it will be at 9.30 a.m. That is the time of the day that the time uh, the motorist overtook the matatu. So the motorist overtook the matatu at 9 that am my viewer that is our second answer on part b of the question now the third part of the question is asking determine which vehicle arrived in Nairobi area and by how long when the questions ask us like that we are going to calculate each time of the, the time of each vehicle at a time and then we shall subtract so at first we calculate the time taken by the matatu to reach Nairobi time for matatu that will be t matatu and time is equal to distance over speed is equal to distance so the whole distance is 600 kilometers Divided by the speed of the matatu, which was 80 kilometers per hour. By kilometer by kilometer, I left with them. hours. So 600 divided by 80 is 7.5. That is 7.5 hours. This implies that it took seven and a half hours for the matatu to reach. For, uh, to reach Nairobi from Meru. Therefore, time for secondly we calculate the time for motorist. 
to be T motorist is equal to the same distance over speed and therefore distance is equal to the same 600 kilometer divided by the speed of the motorist was 120 kilometer. Per hour. So 600 divided by 120 is equal to 5 hours. So it took 5 hours for the motorist to, uh, to travel from Meru all the way to Nairobi. And therefore we said that uh, it, so it is the, the first part of the answer determine which vehicle arrived in Nairobi area. So it is the vehicle it is the motorist arrived area and by how long therefore by how long we shall subtract the, the time taken by Matatu to reach Nairobi and time taken by motorist to reach Nairobi which will be seven hours seven and a half hours subtract five hours time which the, was taken by the motorist. So it is 2.5 hours. So our answer will be it is the motorist that arrived at Nairobi area by two and a half hours. Two and a half hours. That's the final answer and that is how we uh, go through this question and take the 10 marks. Again, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing to my YouTube channel, Teacher Anthony Kemani. So again, for those who are viewing for the first time, also do the same. That uh, Give me a like, give me a view and also don't forget to subscribe to the uh, YouTube channel, Teacher Anthony Kemani. Click the notification bell so that when I release uh, another lesson or another mathematics lesson, we shall be able to learn together and pass together mathematics. Thank you for watching again and God bless you, my viewer.